some fan favorite legendary actors with ties to Wisconsin made an appearance at the Iola Car Show today. Now you may recognize these guys right here from the television sitcom based in Milwaukee called Happy Days. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has the story. It's been about a half century since Henry Winkler played Arthur Fonzarelli on the hit television comedy Happy Days. Alan Taylor and his wife, Lene, drove from Chilton to get some autographs. I wanted to see the Fonz, a local person that uh, I grew up with and part of my childhood. Yeah. So, along with Donnie and Anson, too. It's not hard to get Anson Williams, Henry Winkler, and Donnie Most to talk about the show. We love what we do and we loved what we did. We all love Happy Days. Also, Milwaukee, I mean, and also here, I mean, Happy Days, Wisconsin, kind of goes together. I mean, there's, there, it's been a marriage since the beginning. So there's always been a special place. And the other half of the circle are the people who watch. They don't watch, we go home. So now we get to meet the people who have enjoyed us and they tell us with such warmth it's, I think it's spectacular. Happy Days debuted on television 50 years ago. The spirit of the era complements this year's Iola Car Show theme, the meeting of the muscle. So you're gonna see a lot of cool, everything from, you know, the Mopars, the Chevs, the Buicks, Fords. Harold Micheloni is showing his 1969 Plymouth GTX, which he calls slick. All these cars prowled the streets and, you know, we ran around, did a little racing, we're not going to lie, we did some racing, we burned some tires off, um, had a really good time. And as the autograph session continues, Alan Taylor got some photos and books signed by the group. I thought they were uh, taller than they are, <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's okay, it's nice to see them. In Iowa, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. This is the 52nd Iola Car Show. There's still two more days of events to look forward to. The event wraps up on Saturday evening. My name is Steve Resnick. I'm from Wave 100.5 in Wausau, Wisconsin. Wonderful. North of here. And, and thank you for coming down and doing this. It's a special treat for all of us. Well, it's a special treat for us. Yes. So thank my question is... Yes, it took us about a month to get here. <laughs> you can't, yeah, you still... can't get here from no, you can't get to hear from there. <laughs> that is so true. Um, all of you have had just amazing careers, yeah. and you played such defining characters throughout the Happy Days world and the Gary Marshalls series. How did you break out of the typecast and, and be able to get yeah. a career after Happy Days? Me? Yeah. I get stuck with that? Well, you know what? Okay. So, like, no, well, you, uh, well, you were a director. I, yes, what I said. Well, you, well, How many hours? How many hours what? Of directing. directing. How many hours of television? <laughs> Thousands of hours. Really? <laughs> well, 300 shows, something like that. 300 shows. Yeah. 300 no, shows. No, what happened, what happened was, honestly, for, you know, as far as typecast, I really didn't care that much. I wanted to get behind the camera. But being on Happy Days, and our boss, Gary Marshall, uh, was very uh, inspiring in learning other parts of the business. So we used Paramount Studios as a college. So if we weren't shooting, we were able to go watch Roman Polanski or, or uh, gosh, uh, David, uh, where, where John Schlesinger. You know, where, and, where was Roman Polanski? Doing he was Chinatown? In Chinatown, the back so, lot. Where was I? I don't know. What the I, hell was you I You were having doing? lunch. I don't know. I went so, to the set. I had a brat. Yeah. <laughs> I, but anyway, so anyway, uh, we were able to learn you know, a lot more about the business because, again, I was able to get behind the camera at, uh, at, you know, after, after Happy Days. I just want to say they kept that from me. I learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you did okay, Henry. You did, you did fine. <laughs> you didn't learn All right. Nothing. Sir, what is your name? I'm Tim from uh, Channel 5. I'm just wondering, it seems like you guys haven't, you know, Mr. B, how often are you guys able to talk to me up to um, well, lately a little more than we had been, because um, everyone's been busy doing different things. Where were you last? Um, in Kansas City, doing a play um, for about three months, and 
Henry's been all over the world in the last... I came to Boulder with my children's book. Oh, right. Who was in the audience. I was in the audience. With? Yes, with my wife, Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we always would wind up finding time to get together, and sometimes in situations like and this. And sometimes just on uh, text. We text yeah, each other. Exactly. Yeah. If uh, Ron will do something and you'll say, hey, Ron, that was great, then we'll see it and we'll go, hey, Ron, that was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's 50 years. We've been friends now 50 years. What happened to Ron? Yeah, he's, he's doing okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what happened. He wanted yeah. to direct. Yeah, I think he's trying to direct yeah, or something like I that. Yeah. By the way, I have to brag about Don. He's like, he's all over the country doing his um, club act. He's just, he's one of the, greatest uh, American songbook performers. Oh, well, thank so you. anyone out there, bring Don in. He's, he's got a, he's he's a, a great show. He's a crooner, man. Thank you. Thank you, my bro. <laughs> Sir, what is your name? I'm Chandler Ducker from News Channel 7 in Wausau. And um, it's nice to meet you guys. Thank I you. I just have a question. What are you looking forward to most today at the Iowa Book Club show? Meeting as many people as we possibly can. You know, uh, <laughs> The fact is, this is my second time in Iola, and my wife and I were here uh, before the pandemic. It was delightful. It was delicious. We went to the Crystal Diner, had mm. some pie, met lots of people, and we get to see each other. It, it's really a wonderful event. What is your name, sir? My name is John Fuller from Spectrum News and I have a similar question. It's what, could you kind of go through maybe your, your bond or your relationship with the people of Wisconsin, now that you're in town, you obviously connected with the show, but what's it like actually meeting the people of the state? Do you know what? It, it is terrific because here's the thing. This is the truth. We love what we do and we loved what we did. We all love happy days. Uh, we don't poo-poo it, we don't go, oh, uh, you know, it, whatever. It, it was a great event in our life. And the other half of the circle are the people who watch. They don't watch, we go home. So now we get to meet the people who have enjoyed us and they tell us with such warmth. It's, I think it's spectacular. Yes. Yeah, and, and sometimes, I remember when we, I guess when we first started doing shows, because uh, 20 years ago we weren't doing these kind of shows that much, um, maybe, maybe 20, but I remember people would come up to, to us and tell us not what you would normally expect, you know, we, we loved the show, which was great, you know, how much we laughed and, and watched it as a family, which was always a great thing and we loved that. But there, I was surprised at how many people would come up and say, the show got me through such difficult times. So many different people, whether it was something that was going on with their family or something that was going on, they were in the hospital and, and, and they were being bullied, all kinds of things like that. And they'd say, your show got me through that. Yeah. And it was very a surprise when it first started happening. But it was very uh, emotional to because to we were that. we were emotional. We were a family. Uh, we are still a family, and it came across. And everything starts with the people at the top. You know, Gary Marshall, Tom Miller, Eddie Milkus were the three men uh, who were at the beginning of Happy Days, and each one of them kept a very clear line about what was in the show, what the show was about, and how we That's right. did the show. Also, we had a you know, spectacular cast member, Ron Howard, who the world knew. They didn't know us, yeah. but they knew Ron. I have a slight memory. Yeah, <laughs> but, but Ron, he was such a professional. And we kind of, fo I mean, we kind of followed his guidance, too. I mean, he was I mean, incredibly you know, selfless and the show first and, and total pro. And he was 18. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was 27. He was 18. He was actually 19. He was? Yeah, because I turned 20 in 73, right. and he turned 20 in March of 74. He's eight months younger than me. 
I'm sorry, he was 19. He was 19. I've been telling everybody that he's been 18 <laughs> for 50 years. <laughs> I'm sticking with 18. Okay. He was 18, and uh, I was hitting my script because I didn't like a joke, and I couldn't make it work. And he put his arm around me. Now, I'm 27. He's 18. He walks me to the back of the soundstage, and he said, you know, I wouldn't hit my script. They're working as hard as they can. I said, Ron, I'm never going to hit my script as long as I live. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, what is your name? My name is Eric Peterson with Fox 11 on Green Bay. Uh, on a lighter note, uh, we're celebrating 50 years of muscle cars. Happy days is back in the day. I mean, uh, what kind of car would uh, the Fonz drive? Yes, I would drive anything but a motorcycle. I, uh, I've never ridden a motorcycle. I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. Uh, I, right now, drive a Lexus, and I would take it back in time with me because it's so comfortable. <laughs> well, I have a, I think my, in high school, way back when, 1967, my, oh my God, my God, it's like I'm, should I, anyway, um, my, I'll never forget, I'm in high school, and we, we're lower middle class and all this, but my friend, saved and safe, got a yellow, canary yellow GTO, black interior. It was over. I could not compete. It was over. That was it, you know? To this day, that's my fantasy car. Sir. Why really News 9, nice to meet all of you. You uh, too. <laughs> I would say the, the big thing I wanted to ask was kind of why is it so important to get out and support a small town car show that's so big in this area? I'll tell you exactly why. It is the very basis of our show. Yeah. It is America. We're in America. We love our country. And how often do, does a person get to go? We were just talking about this yesterday. We get to go to every nook and cranny of our country and meet, and we are all the same. It doesn't matter where we come from. Sometimes the pie is better, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> but the fact is we are all one country and it is, it's an honor to get to be invited to all these places. Boy, that was beautifully spoken. Thank you, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm really done. Okay. God, was that it? Jeez, where's that? Was, that the was teleprompter. Off, it was off the top of my head. <laughs> that was very <laughs> Yes, that's why you're friends with me. <laughs> All right, anybody here? Back in the day, we heard about what Anson's first car was and what his dream car was. When, when, what were you driving when uh, the show started? Cool. And then oh. once you became successful and established, what was that? Right, car? so my first car was a 1966 Oldsmobile. It was a Cutlass, and it was like it was my favorite car. I love the look of it. Now I'm not a car person, except that when we come to these shows, I am I am in awe of the craftsmanship, the care, the beauty of what these men and women build. Now I build, I drive safety and <laughs> comfort, and I want to say, I want to turn that that car on and I don't want it to fail me. And if it does, I will leave it on the side of the road and beat it with a baseball bat. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not a, a car person, but I enjoy the beauty I see in front of me. Down here by you. My first car was a 72 Camaro. Um, and then when I was leaving New York to come out to LA, I left it there under the care of, uh, I think my cousin had to, was able to drive it for, for, we didn't know how long. So when I got out there, the first car I got was a, a Volkswagen. And um, then when I got on the show and was making a little more money, um, I got a Mercury Cougar convertible. I remember that. I remember that. that. Yeah. yeah. That and, was cool. And then after that, I think I got a Jensen Healy, which was a really cool. Uh, you know, English sports car. Sports car. Yeah. Did it ever run? Huh? Did it run? Yeah. yeah, no, it did. It did. I didn't have problems well, with it. Well, Sir. My, it, well, oh, no, oh, yeah, my first car. Yeah, true. I mean, but back in the day, it was a '56 Chevy four-door, 
automatic though. I mean, not a good, but look with the chrome wheels for 150 bucks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it's a, a, a few decades ago. Yeah, but that was, uh, that was the first car. Sir. Yeah, what makes car shows, especially the one here in Iowa, such a great place to connect with families? What makes it the, the people? I totally. think the people that we get to meet that stand online in the heat and wait. Um, I, I cannot tell you how much we appreciate that. Also, uh, for me, the food. <laughs> <laughs> also, Milwaukee, I mean, and also here, I mean, Happy Days Wisconsin kind of goes together. I mean, there's, there, it's been a marriage since the beginning. So there's always been a special place. Yes, if you haven't visited it, my statue is in Milwaukee. <laughs> You're kidding. You have no, a statue? No, I have a statue. You, I'm, you, I'm going. You really? I was I'm a going. bobblehead is... at a Brewers game just a little while ago. You were a bobblehead? I'm a bobblehead and a statue. Wow. wow. Yes. That's, How, that's, that's pretty cool. My a, knees feel like a statue. The statue's by the train station, right? Milwaukee around there or something? What? No, it's by the... statue is... It's right on River, on right river Walk. On river, river Walk. Yeah. yeah. I you, remember that day. When we, that was amazing. Amazing. I, I was, when they, when it's they, amazing to me today. It's, what an it's, honor. A very well earned honor. Yeah, but it's pretty neat, and that Sometimes that really shows you the, who the connection. With. Huh? Sometimes I think you forget who you're with. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's okay. You remind us anyway. <laughs> anyway, but, also, but it's but it's but it's just just be honestly, what a powerful what he created, and to have that kind of honor. Well, what, what it's, we but created also together. Showed, yeah, yeah, but because you, the, the fonts doesn't live in a vacuum. I understand, but you created that character. That was did, not on paper. I? That was not no, on paper. That was that's true. That was thank <laughs> you. Yeah, created by you this guy. A little, a but little to, have honest, kind of, uh, to have that kind of to have that kind of connection you did with like Wisconsin, that, you, yeah, yeah and Milwaukee, it's pretty right. amazing, you know. And yeah, so there's a love affair yeah. between all of us in the and state. And I don't have to say how beautiful driving around here. Oh my God, just. You live just, in a beautiful part just of the world. It. It's so, Lord. so beautiful. Sir. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I know you said you've been here before. Do you have a favorite memory from the Do you know what my wife said? You go to Crystal and you have that pie. And we did. My wife ordered every pie <laughs> that was available every time we went in there last time. Yeah. I have to take Morgan, my wife. Yeah. She loves pies. So I'm gonna have but, to... Oh, the cherry pie last night? But tell, tell them, we're exhausted. We're, yesterday's, oh, yeah. we're exhausted, but yet... We, we left our home <laughs> in L.A. at 3 in the morning. Yep. We arrived in, uh, first in Chicago. Yep. Then Appleton. Yep. Appleton to Crystal, where we had time for pie. Yes. Yeah. Before the hotel. At you which time I and went I'm into so a glad it was like oh, so, so delicious. Because I thought there was, there are some direct flights to uh, even from Denver. You kept that from me too. I didn't excuse, me, excuse me. I didn't. There know was that. a direct flight. Well, the, we're uh, talking to Bobby. But from okay, Denver, we're talking to Bobby. So we would have to from go Denver. to Denver, oh, like we went Denver. to Chicago. Oh God, God, God. Okay. But Denver is shorter than Chicago. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Sir. I'm good. I'll defer to these guys. Are you guys going to be together at a future car show somewhere? I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure we will. We don't it, have anything. This is not our first it. time all together, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll but uh, if you if you uh, if you have an invitation, uh, let us know, <laughs> sir. And you mentioned the statue, bobbleheads, all that kind of stuff. What yes. does it mean? I think I should stand. The... A statue and a bobblehead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter how big or small the group of people are, to be backed by other human beings is the essence of living, bar none. I mean, it really, it takes two halves. You know, you have a love, you get to do what you dream of doing, but if nobody watches it, then it doesn't exist. To be backed by your fellow countrymen, by the world, is beyond language. Thank you. Anybody have a, a burning question? Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, um, what do you um, hope that fans take away when they eat? A picture. <laughs> I, I, I hope. I hope they take away a picture. <laughs>
<laughs> I've also written children's books. I have some of those here. And uh, a memoir that uh, I've read on tape that uh, I must say is really good. Uh, and a Waterboy jersey. A Waterboy oh, jersey. The book, the book is fabulous. Oh, yeah. this book, I mean, the book yes. is And you, what do you hope to take away? Hmm. Um, I, that's a good question. I didn't want to say wait. Yeah, I, I didn't just, want to say get I, I enjoyed, as Henry talked about, meeting, meeting the people. And when you go to different parts of the country, there's, there's subtle differences, and it's interesting. To, especially, I recently moved from L.A. to uh, Colorado, and that was a big move. And the people are, were different. And you're recently a grandfather. And recently a grandfather, right. And, and it was definitely... You pick up a whole different kind of uh, feeling from the people there. Then I was in Kansas City for three months, and it was a little different. So <clears throat> I'm interested in seeing what I pick up here. The minute we got out, my wife and I landed in Appleton. We're crossing. We're cro I'm rolling two two bags, and she she she's carrying something, and she's using her cane. Sometimes she has to use a cane. All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Three young kids, maybe 10 years old, come up to us and say, can we help you across, can we help you? If we were in LA, that would not happen. Or New York, you would not have young kids just coming up to us and asking if they could help. I mean, it told me immediately about a certain value system here. So Did we come into the same airport? <laughs> I'm, I'm, no. Yeah. But anyway. Nobody so, said, but, can I help yeah, you? Yeah, no. I mean, it was striking, and uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. In different places, you you learn you learn things about, about how, human nature. Human nature. Yeah. Anybody else? I feel like we're promoting a self-help book. I don't know. A, no. No. But we're happy to be yes, here. Yes, we are. Is the end. We're happy, happy to be here. And we're so happy to have you. Thank you. And it's going to be a happy day. That's pretty corny. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, but pretty apropos. <laughs> pretty good. It works. It, it, yeah. It fit. Yeah. Anybody out there make like a great brownie with no nuts? <laughs> just so. You just kind of have a craving. You just kind of bring it, bring it home. Yeah, really? Yeah, I didn't have a lot of breakfast. And we have to say what a, what a cool uh, uh, gas station this is that Larry has yeah. This built. is amazing. Larry, and, I hope you guys get some pictures yeah. of, and, and of you, where we are. And he built it's the pretty whole darn inside. great. He built the whole inside without any drawings, without any, all in his head. Really? And if you bring your car here, I can fix it. Uh, that is the amazing thing. Even as an actor, you, you know, what, when, I was, um, when I was using the screwdriver, uh -huh. I screwed air for <laughs> 10 years. I just moved the, the screwdriver around. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> but, but you can fix a car. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I was great with the rag. Right? No, oh, no, all, right. no, all you had to do was this, and it started. It was, so was, it. It was unbelievable. <laughs> you yeah. played music. At I tried time. that at home, and all I got was a dent. <laughs> <laughs> and sore knuckles. Thank you so much, everybody.